Hi, I'm Bob Pelleggi. I am with the Golf Living Group and Park Bench, and we're here with Martin Brinkley of Batman Media. Welcome, Hi. Martin. Thank you. So, uh, Batman Media, um, tell me a little bit of how you got started. Um, got started with trivia initially. Um, got approached via a friend of a friend. They were looking for a host. And I said, sure, I can do that, not realizing at all what I was getting into. Um, I thought it was as simple as, hey, you just read a question, read an answer. It's a little bit more involved than that, and everything kind of grew from there. Yeah, I see you got quite a setup over here with uh, all your yep. players and everything. So you have um, a bunch of games that you play and yep. you offer to your clients and all that. Uh, just a little explanation, a little brief explanation of what the games are. So most of the games, other than trivia, um, things like Friendly Feud, which is our take on Family Feud. Of course, they got the name first. Um, that's interesting because the whole audience gets to play. Um, so that makes that kind of appealing to a, a larger crowd. Um, you can play it with a small crowd too. Um, but it is it follows the same format where you're looking to see what surveys what the survey answer is what not what the correct answer is but what you think people answered in a survey so that can make it a little interesting um, one of our other games is called what the blank uh, similar to the match game again it's tailored for a larger crowd um, you could play it with a smaller crowd, same kind of format, questions, answers, um, and it's all based on, we, we use three volunteers um, to provide the answers, so it, it just varies wildly sometimes. Um, and then by far our most popular game is our mixtape bingo, which involves videos are short video clips of music, music videos. Um, they're 30 seconds long each, and it's played like a regular bingo game on a bingo card, uh, which we distribute to people in the audience. So again, can be played with a very large crowd or a very small crowd, but it's a lot of fun and a lot of singing happens. Yeah, I, I've played that game myself, and it is very fun, and everybody does get involved, and it's pretty amazing how uh, people get involved. Once the music starts playing, and people just start singing, it's it's pretty fun. Yeah, definitely our most interactive game. Yeah. So what made you get into the um, media business? <sighs> I don't know. <laughs> stumbled into it. We really did. We stumbled into it, started off with trivia, then I started um, kind of researching other games to play. That's where we came across Mixtape Bingo, um, hit that idea, started, the, um, started running with that and then realized that, hey, there's a lot more games out there that you could probably adapt to a wider audience. Uh, and again, getting everyone involved. That's, that's really, that's the hardest part is finding games that everybody can play. Not everybody likes trivia. There's a lot of people that say, oh no, I'm no good at trivia, so I'm not gonna play it. Um, so, and I, I wanna include those people because they go out and play games like the rest of us. Um, mm -hmm. So that, that's been kind of the driving force behind it all. Why we do it, I don't know. <laughs> We're crazy. <laughs> the amount of it, people don't realize there's a lot of hours that get spent um, researching, developing, it, it's, you know, coming up with the concepts of the game, playing it here ourselves, and then realizing, oh, that doesn't work, and then you've got to change things up a little. So um, our latest game, What the Blank, is now on its about fifth version, because changes I had to make along the way. Mm -hmm. So Yeah, I know it's a lot of work, because I know that the each bingo game is 75 songs, so to find 75 30-second clips is 
Yeah. yeah it's and and we carefully edit those to encourage the singing. Mm -hmm. So, yes, yeah. I have noticed that. <laughs> so it's a lot. It's a lot of time spent editing video. So most of your business is in um, is in clubs and bars, but you do private events too. Yes. Yep. We've done, especially with the advent of COVID. Um, the way we got through that was doing everything virtually. Um, some games just don't work virtually. We we tried um, Friendly Feud virtually and it failed miserably. Um, so we killed that one off for the virtual events. Um, but both smartphone trivia and um, Mixtape Bingo work really well virtually. We've had a lot of corporate events. In fact, that's what that's pretty much what got us through COVID was all the corporate events. And it was it was actually really encouraging because I wasn't really sure if that was gonna work out for us. And purely through word of mouth from business to business, we grew it exponentially. And we still get calls now for corporate events. So, mm -hmm. yep. That's good. Yeah. So uh, I was going to ask you about COVID, about how it affected you, but um, yeah, you've already answered that. Well, we, we almost shut down. I thought we were done. When COVID hit, I thought we were done. And I want to say we were late to the game because I probably took about three weeks trying to figure out where to go next. How do, do we just pack up and give up or find another way and eventually we found another way with the help of some friends online who were quite encouraging about doing it virtually I was like okay we can try this and that's what we did and it it, it took off and it helped us survive so yeah, we, well we we played a lot of the uh, games virtually yeah. during COVID and we had a lot of fun in fact my wife and I would sit side by side on the couch playing trivia but we went uh, show each other the answers and, uh, <laughs> it was a competition between us but it was fun because there were a lot of people doing that we had whole families that would look forward to it because they're scattered across the country but they were still able to play together yeah so they really liked that yeah it was very fun um so uh you have a um a facebook site which yep. is batman media Batman Media, if you look up Batman Media on Facebook, you'll find us. Okay, We're, do you have a website? Or? We have a website, batmanmedia.com. Okay. Um, we're on Instagram as well. Instagram, Facebook, those are our, our main social media accounts um, and the website. Okay, so. very good. So, again, I'm with uh, Martin Brinkley of Batman Media, and um, I am Bob Pledgy with uh, Park Bench and... Golf Living Group, and uh, we will see you again next time. Thank you, Martin. Thank you.